least 32 people have been killed as Iraqi security forces try to regain control of the country's largest oil refinery and the strategic town of Baiji. Officials say many of the dead and wounded were civilians. The Islamist group ISIS had earlier claimed to have captured the refinery. Well, to discuss the deteriorating situation in the country, I'm now joined by British Labour Party MP Jeremy Corbyn. Well, uh, Jeremy, Iraq is in chaos, as we can see, a bit more than 10 years after the U.S. invasion. Are they reconsidering the invasion as a good idea? I think a lot of people in Britain that voted for the invasion, particularly members of parliament, are now thinking very deeply about the huge mistake that was made in 2003. The growth of the ISIS forces is a direct result of the overthrow of the entire system around Saddam Hussein and then the promotion of what has actually turned out to be very sectarian government in Iraq ever since then. And this is a an obvious uh, result of this and also the huge amounts of money that are available for the ISIS forces and indeed for the Iraqi government. So we have what is developing into a very well-funded civil war with awful consequences for the people of Iraq. Well, you know, ISIS seems to be maintaining its grip on the country's oil. And speaking of the consequences, I mean, tell us a bit more. Could you elaborate perhaps more on what sort of uh, repercussions may it have for the country and the country's economy? Well, there are three repercussions from this. One is that the uh, Kurdish regional government has become much stronger, and uh, I think the dream of having an independent Kurdistan must have come much closer as a result of it. Secondly, that by controlling the oil resources, or most of the oil resources of Iraq from the ISIS forces at the present time, or at least the biggest refinery, then that has caused panic buying and chaos in the rest of Iraq. But it also cuts off a huge element of financial support for the government of, uh, of Iraq. And thirdly, the long-term stability of the country is very much in doubt because you now have two broadly religious sectarian forces fighting each other. That was never the narrative in Iraq before the uh, United States and Britain and others invaded. It was then a relatively um, secular country in the sense that the constitution was relatively secular and there wasn't this huge uh, religious division between uh, Sunni and Shia which of course is being exacerbated and I think one has to then look at the role of Saudi Arabia in promoting Sunni forces around the region or a particular form of Islam and look at the same time at the role played by the by the Malaki government so I think the outlook is very very grim indeed and uh, this is a consequence of Western meddling well you know uh, Jeremy what could actually shift the balance of forces here I mean what would it take for the Iraqi troops to regain control well, I think it requires a sense of unity amongst people in Iraq that would want to be remain part of Iraq and also an acceptance and understanding of why so many people in some of the cities in the north have um, apparently been prepared to accept the ISIS forces. Yes, they are brutal. Yes, they're, some of what they've done is quite appalling. Likewise, what the Americans did in Fallujah and other places is appalling. But there has to be seen to be an acceptance of a much wider view of the world than is apparent at the present time the Malaki government and uh, uh, whilst the US has not yet sent in large numbers of troops the danger is that um, in this sort of perilous civil war that's going on Western forces will once again be dragged in and the, re the war will just go on for a long time with awful consequences for the people of Iraq I think there has to be a political solution all wars have to end in some kind of political compromise why not start with a political compromise now rather than fueling the war by putting more weapons more arms and more money into the conflict all right Jeremy Corbyn British Labour Party MP thank you so much for talking to us here on RT